A high-performance wireless gaming mouse that might be just exactly what the security-conscious Uber geek needs for mousing on the go? I'm Father Robert Balasser, the Digital Jesuit, and this is an analog unboxing of the HyperX Pulsefire Dart. <laughs> Greetings, Uber Geeks. I've got a quickie of something that I brought back from CES 2020 in Las Vegas. I was sitting in the press room when um, I spotted one of my friends from Kingston, and he wanted to know why I was doing video editing on a trackpad. And trackpads are not great for that. And he wanted to know why I wasn't using a mouse. I told him, well, there just wasn't enough space really for a corded piece of kit in my gearbox. And I, there was no way I was going to use Bluetooth inside of a convention center. So he smiled, and then he slid this to me. This is the HyperX Pulse Fire Dart. It's a wireless gaming mouse, RGB of course, but using 2.4 gigahertz non-Bluetooth RF and a USB dongle. So I get the benefits of Bluetooth, but it doesn't have the glaring security holes that I'm gonna be getting if I used a Bluetooth setup. Actually, it's even better than Bluetooth because it's not prone to the intermittent dropouts and occasional glitching that unfortunately has become synonymous with Bluetooth devices. A Pulse Fire has an 800 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery that can last for about 90 hours on a charge. That's if you turn it into extreme battery conservation mode. Now, when it's time to charge, it's got a USB-C port up front and it's Qi enabled, which means you can put this on a Qi charging mat and you're good to go. Now, of course, if that's all it was, it would be plenty good. I haven't had a really good wireless mouse in years, not since some of my old Logitech ones. And this just feels good. It's, it's got that, that quality that I'm looking for. My, my fingers just naturally go to where they're supposed to be. It's got this smooth contour. It's got a leatherette finish with dimples to keep your fingers in the right places. And it's just got the right weight. Of course, it's a gaming mouse, which means you also get a few quality gaming touches. It starts with the six programmable buttons, each using Omron switches with a smooth click. The left and right mouse buttons are, are actually split design. What that means is it's not one button, but two. If you click the top, the front of the button, you get one click. If you click the back of the button, you get another. If you're a gamer, you know how good that, that is because you get not just the two buttons here on the side, but you get the ability to quickly rock and back, back and forth for your mouse clicks, that's that's something that, uh, well, it can be invaluable. It's the difference between getting a frag and getting fragged. The Dart has a PixArt 3389 sensor with 16,000 DPI resolution and the ability to toggle sensitivity up and down quickly between five user-defined DPI settings. Again, this is a great gaming feature because it means that you can go from very fast movements to very fine movements without having to change anything. Just a quick mouse click and you're good to go. So if you like sniping, you can switch back down to a lower DPI versus something that you need to move quickly for. You get those 360 no scopes. It also has a weighted ratcheted scroll wheel to give your scrolling a bit more tactile feedback. And of course, since it is a HyperX product, it's got the lights. Oh man, does it have the lights. The Pulsefire Dart uses HyperX's Ingenuity software that lets you customize your DPI settings, create macros for your most commonly used gaming combinations, tweak your power settings, and set the RGB lighting to, well, whatever suits your fancy. Now, knowing that some of us will connect this to our desktops, HyperX has also included this. It's sort of a USB docking station. It lets you connect to your desktop, which might be under a desk, without compromising the RF connectivity. Now, at just 110 grams, the Dart is light enough to be your travel mouse, but heavy enough to give you a little heft when you're gaming. This probably isn't going to get its own in-depth review, but it's definitely a well-made product, and I expect that you'll see it when I start doing gaming gear roundups. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if this is a product that you think maybe you might want to give a go, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. If you really want to support this channel, ring the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss any Uber Geek goodness. This channel only grows with you and I'm counting on you. Till next time, I'm Father Robert Balasser, the Digital Jesuit, just reminding you that there's no Uber Geek without you.